Okay, so I have an image here of a bathroom, and we're going to apply a technique to it that will make it appear as though it's going from a photograph to a line drawing as it goes out to the edge. So the first thing I need to do is in my right here in my layers palette, we're going to make a duplicate of the background layer. Actually, we're going to make two duplicates of that background layer. And I only want to work on the center one, so I'm going to turn off that top one and the background layer itself with this center layer active. I'm going to go under filter, go to blur, smart blur, and you can see right inside this window it's giving me a blurred effect, but that's not what I want out of this filter. I actually want to go over here to mode and go to edge only. And you can start to see it's giving me kind of a line drawing effect there. And if I play with the radius and threshold a little bit, there's no you know, specific setting here. Just depending on your image, you just want to play with it until you kind of get the effect you're going for. And I'm going to keep it relatively simple here, so I think that looks pretty good. Hit OK. Now what it does is, it's going to make my image like a reverse line drawing. It's going to make, you know, your background and area black, and the lines actually white. So now what I want is actually for those white lines to be black, and also for them to be on their own transparent layer. So the quickest and easiest way to do for me to do that is to go to Select, go to Color Range. And with the eyedropper here, I'm just going to go into the image. I'm going to click anywhere in the black area. And right in here inside this window, it's going to show me everything that is white in this preview window is going to be my active selection. And everything that is black is going to be unselected. Now, what I want is the exact opposite. I want everything that's black in this image to be selected and everything that's white not to be selected. So to make that happen, I simply click Invert. And you can see it completely inverted the selection. When I hit OK, there's my active selection just on the lines that I want. And when I'm in my Layers palette, I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off that layer beneath it. So I don't think I'm going to need that anymore. And with this new layer active and my active selection going, I'm going to go under Edit, go to Fill, and we'll make sure we're on black. And I'm going to hold, hit, click my, actually I'm going to do my Command or Control D to deselect that. And there you can see, there's my line drawing. Next thing I want to do is now, I want to make a new layer right directly underneath this layer we're on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down my Command or Control key again as I click on the new layer icon, and that puts a new layer directly beneath that active layer I had. And we're going to go to our Swatches palette, and I'm just going to select a relatively light color here, about like that right there. Close that, and you can see that color is right there in our foreground color. So we'll go under Edit down to fill and go to foreground color and hit OK. And the next thing I want to do on this same colored layer is we're going to apply a texture to it. Give it a little more depth so it's not so flat looking. And right here in our texture window I want to make sure I'm on sandstone. And I'm going to leave my scaling at 100, relief at 2, and light direction coming from the top right. That looks pretty good. You can see that there. Hit OK. And right above that, I'm going to go ahead and activate that line drawing layer once again. And I'm going to change its blending mode to overlay. And you can see we kind of get, kind of see what we're getting there. And go ahead and activate that top photographic layer. And you can see that's our original photograph right here up on top. And on that layer, I'm going to go ahead and make a layer mask. Click on the new layer mask icon right down here. And you can see it right there. Now I'm going to go over here and get my gradient tool. And inside the gradient, we want to make sure that we're going from black to transparent because we're going to be drawing this gradient from multiple directions on this layer. So that layer, layer mask icon active. And we're going to go up here, and I'm just going to hold down my my shift key to constrain my movement and I'm just going to start at the very top here and drag down and you can see that's starting to reveal the the line drawing effect we've got underneath there and let's do that there just like that 
you can kind of see what we're getting out there. Now the photographic area is not showing nearly as much as I'd like it to. As you can see, I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key and click directly on that layer mask icon. You can see right there is exactly what our layer mask looks like. Now this white area is representing how, opa how opaque the layer itself is. So the white area is 100% opacity and as it gradiates out into the dark area that tells you how transparent it's getting and all the way out to the black area is 100% transparent. I want to increase that opaque area just a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and Alt Option click back on that layer mask to reveal my image. And with the layer mask still active, we're going to go to Image, go to Adjustments, and go to Levels. And with my white slider, my highlight slider here, I'm just going to push that in a little bit. And if, as I do that, you can see in here, you can see the image actually, I'm going to do it a lot so you can actually see what's going on here. You can see that the image is revealing itself that much more because we're increasing that highlighted area, the white area of that layer mask. But I don't want to do it quite that much. I'm just going to bring it back in there, subtle adjust a little bit more, just like that. There. Now, one last thing I want to do, or a couple last things I want to do. First of all, I want to go back on this line drawing air, uh, layer itself, and I'm going to drop its opacity down just a little bit, right around 75, just so it's not so harsh right there on that image. And I want that line drawing to kind of fade in from the edge, you know, coming from the texture right into I don't want it stopping abruptly right there at the edge. So on that line drawing layer, I'm going to make a layer mask. And I'm going to go under Select, and we're going to do a Select All. So we get an active selection all the way around the entire image. I'm go under Edit. And making sure we're still active on that layer mask, we're going to go under Edit and go to Stroke. And we're going to set the stroke width really big. In fact, 30 is, I think that's really pretty much where I want it. We want to make sure it's on the inside. We won't, don't want it in the center or outside because it will actually, either one will actually put it beyond the boundaries of our image and we won't be able to see it. So we'll keep the entire thing on the inside and we'll hit OK. And as you can see, it completely masked off part of that line drawing area we did. And if I Alt or Option click on that layer mask, you can see there's the stroke we just drew. And you can see it's got that harsh edge on it, and that's not what I'm wanting. So in order to fix that, I'm going to Option or Alt-click back on that, get back to my image. Still active on that layer mask, I'm going to go under Filter, go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to crease that just a little bit more. And you can see right in here, this kind of a subtle gradation of the effect. So it's not such a harsh masking. See, you can just kind of subtly see it revealing itself in there. In fact, in, in my preview window here, you can see what kind of blur effect I'm getting on that. Actually, that looks pretty good, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and close that Layers palette. And I'm going to hit my Command or Control D to deselect that entire selection. And there we have it, a really cool line drawing effect using a photograph this is the Laddie. I hope you enjoyed.